in any IT firm, whenever, wherever there is no automation in the IT infrastructure, the IT team reaches out to every individual who works within the organization. They fetch the details of their hardware, the software of their workstation, and they manually put in that information within the spreadsheets. Now, this process is not only time consuming, but it is uh, laborious as well as it incurs a lot of cost and waste human resources. Now, let's talk about how Project IT works. So, what is Project IT? It's a co combination of two ServiceNow offerings, which is ServiceNow Discovery and ServiceNow Performance Analytics. The key ingredients of this application. The very first one is Discovery. Discovery is a service now offering that works on top of your network. It fetches the details of your hardware and software and populates that information within your application database. So Sandeep has mentioned about discovery. So these are the discovery schedules which we have created for specific machines. Uh, you can have IP ranges given uh, in a single slot which can uh, scan all of the machines in that IP range. So let me show you one of the discovery that we have done for one of the machine. Here it is. So what it does, if you see here, these are the probes. What it does, it sends uh, queries to those machines and fetch detailed information from those. Okay. Let's take a quick look what exactly it has created uh, once it completed the discovery. Here, so here is the in, uh, record that uh, this application has created. It's all automated, it's very detailed, having uh, hardware information, your memory module, CPU, your software information, what are installed, what's running processes, okay? Along with that, it creates a map, a connected map uh, of different uh, uh, IT assets. So let's have a look at the map. So for purpose of this application, what we have created, we have uh, had a uh, VMware server and got five virtual machines installed over it, okay? So this is the map which is created by that application. Right, here comes uh, uh, the predicting part. So using those incidents and alerts that I've just showed you, we have created a graph, historical graph for each category of machines. So if you see here, this is the trend line which shows the total number of incidents which are open for workstation, okay? And the dotted line here shows the prediction on any given day, okay? We can further drill down to categorization level. So here you have software issues, hardware issues, network issues, and their predictions for any given day. Let's move to cloud servers. So apart from those five virtual machines, we have in fact, uh, in, uh, in, uh, a scanned few of the cloud machines so we have uh, scanned AWS and Azure machines likewise you can have uh, predictions here we can further drill down to time slots so based on historically when incidents have got open these are the time slots where we can uh, expect uh, issues to occur we know what total license cost we have paid we can see what audit risk we are exposed to due to over utilizations so we can figure out how many instances of a specific uh, software is installed actually on the machines and we can figure out what amount we are at the audit risk. Potential savings can also be figured out. Just a disclaimer, this is these figures are just representative and does not represent the actual InfoBeans assets. Great. So that's all about Predict IT. Thank you very much. We really wow!